Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Queen's Wish 2, The Tormentor! Last episode, we, uh, went and cleared out some of, uh, some more of the underworld. A, t a tower located somewhere that seems to be the barrier between the northern and southern underworld. We've now linked up the two, so that's good, but we're not gonna go into the northern underworld quite yet. Before we do, I think maybe we should try and finish off Oachita Mountain and deal with all of the uh, brigands, rebels, assassins, whatever you, whatever you want to call them, that happen to be up there. And from what I remember, there's a way up there, up in the western tunnels. A secret path that will allow us to get by all of these foes. Maybe not there, maybe over here. You reach the end of a narrow valley just southwest of Oachita Mountain. Remembering what you learned in Fort Cariaris, you search the valley walls. Soon you find what you're looking for. It's a side valley, cunningly camouflaged with painted canvas covered with dirt. You pull it aside and find a hidden path leading to the mountain. Well, delightful. You approach the base of Oachita Mountain, the highest peak in the Low Daga. Like most landmarks of the Rokage, it has been settled, reworked, and abandoned by many waves of row, usually for war-related reasons. These jagged peaks are shot through with narrow tunnels where countless waves of rebels, brigands, and raiders have come to hide. At the end of the valley ahead, you see the ruins of a tower. It has also been rebuilt and raised many times, though right now only the lowest level is sort of intact. The mountain is covered with a haze of cook fires. Fortunately, approaching along this hidden path, you have evaded their notice. At last, you have reached the fortress of the Row Raiders, the humans and beasts who have been terrorizing the Low Daga and who tried to kill you. They're no longer running. You can confront them directly here, and you may be able to slip past the worst of their defenses. Indeed. Oh, look at that. Alright. And here we have our way in. Oh, hi. We found you, Doggins. Cronus Woodworker, Donna Doggin Woodworker. The raiders have constructed a busy hideout in these crumbling chambers buried under the mountain. They are crowded with supplies, workshops, and living quarters. Supplies and equipment are crammed into every available space. They've been operating here for quite some time. Raiding parties come here to rest and be resupplied, and then they return to the Low Daga to cause havoc. When you get close, someone shouts an alarm. At last, they have been discovered. Now they get to be raided for a change. Okay then, time to deal with them. How about a fireball? Oh. Nice. Okay, that I don't like. And you have a lot of guys in here, I have to say. Dang. Definitely gonna need to get a lot of fighting in here. Uh, Mad Flurry. Uh. That was effective. Don't care about that. Well, on the plus side, at least you're putting it on a weak guy. Uh. There goes that Stalker. There goes that Rebel. Uh, you can finish off that scorpion, please. Thank you. Nice damage. Uh... Okay, he's actually resistant to physical. Not the best. Fortunately, we have two guys doing magical. Haha. -ha. Okay, you, healing wave. Kinda need to do that. This is a magical workshop. You note that much of it is dedicated to enchanting and carving wood. This is where the staves that control the Ka beasts are made. Noted. There's also a bunch of Ka beasts in here that we do need to deal with. Yep, they're all coming at us. How far can your fireball reach? Not quite far enough. Fine, finish off that archer. Nice. Ow.
Okay, you guys can block in this Tabor and deal with him. Okay, fireball there. When you get close to the Cobor while bearing your altered Raider Staff, it has an effect. The Cobor starts to become extremely agitated. It looks around, snarling and drooling, confused about what it is supposed to be doing. Disrupted. Ooh. Nope, that one's dealt with. Ow, that I don't care for. The Raider's control of the Cobor is suddenly broken. It isn't your friend now. Instead, it loses control. It starts swinging its weapon in all directions, happy to attack anyone nearby. <coughs> Pretty nice. Unfortunately, that one's not gonna help us very much. Especially because we basically need to get within melee range in order to deal with it, which I don't like. Unless it knocks us away and then it turns around. Okay, that one's disrupted. Good. Uh. Here goes that, Rebel. It's charmed! Oh, that's interesting. So if enough time goes by, does it get charmed? Nice. Okay, so if we stand near it long enough, it gets charmed. Good to know, good to know. That one died. Almost got all of the foes in this area, it seems. Come on. There we go. Okay, you. Keep healing. And we're good. We are, of course, going to lose the entire place. You know that, right? Another dominated Cobor. For how long? I don't know. Ow. Disrupted. Ensnared, I don't like, but it's dealt with. Okay. It's down here, I wonder. Silver coins, Daga Tower Shield. Hi there, more rebels. Hi, you're coming from behind. I don't care for that very much. There's a lot of them coming from back there, which I really don't like. You head over to here. Rupert, you can deal with this rebel yourself. There goes that one. Ha! Nice try. Nowhere near good enough. There we go. One too bad. And we got a chest here containing a Rudico vestment and some fine wine. Not too shabby. In this direction, we've got a path back up. Interesting. But, I want to continue exploring down here and see what we find. Set over to here, throw down a save, and take a look. Alright, let's head down. There's a long tunnel ahead. Parts of it are natural, and parts have been dug out by the row. The walls are lined with piles of equipment. The raiders have, unfortunately, placed even more defenses down here. You see huge cobors, each stationed behind another huge ballista. 
Tabor Artillerist. Well, it was disrupted. Disrupted again. Looks like it takes like two turns for the whole di for the well three turns maybe for the whole thing to take effect. Unfortunately, I need to be next to them during all that, which is not a good thing. Sure, this is probably the front gate, which we're not supposed to go by, but hey, taking them by surprise completely surprises them, and I'd say it works out. <laughs> Plus, we get a little more experience from it. A little. Hi there! That works. Ah, Cowl. Cowl Feral. Okay, that I don't care for very much. How about you charge in? I wonder if these guys will also end up disrupted. Not that it helps much. Uh, here, and that works. Make them bleed. That one's gonna die in a moment. Okay, don't care much for the blessing. Are you about to- yeah, you're about to die. Uh, go ahead, give a healing to Elspeth. Thank you. Yep, it's dead. Here goes that one. One more to deal with. There we go. All right. I don't know what's down this path. There is absolutely nothing down this path. There's got to be something down that path, we just can't see it. I don't know. More artillerists. Oh, that's actually the heavy defenses. You need to heal, Rupert. Ow. There goes that one. Okay, you can't do anything. How about you throw a heal on Elspeth? Why not? They're too confused. They're not coming for us. All right, switch to the bow. <laughs> They're so confused because they can't get to the ones they want to kill. This is nice. Oh, hi, plated scorpion. That I don't like. Okay, that one's dealt with. Oh, they are actually completely stuck. 
It, the paths are so narrow, us attacking from behind means they can't attack us. Oh, this is actually wonderful. This is actually... This just makes it really easy. Huh. The disruption, they're still... They're now attacking each other. And that one's now completely charmed. Huh. I love it. I don't know if that charm ever wears off or what, but... Oh, and we got more plated scorpions. Who caused more poison? I don't like that. I really don't like that. There, get rid of all the poison, please. And a fireball works. Oh, that thing's hostile now. Okay, the charming is only temporary. Good to know. There goes that one. Oh, bloody hell. These are going to swallow up a lot of our spell energy. A lot of our spell energy. Jesus Christ. Alright, one more to deal with. There we go. There we go. And we get Draconic Orb and some Deep Metal Ore. Alright, everyone just shoot this one dead, please. It can't reach us, which I still find absolutely hilarious. go. And there's nothing here. Interesting. So is that how we were normally supposed to come in? We find that and we charge in that way? I guess those are other entrances that we'd be able to take if we went in the front. Okay, well, charge through the south. Now, let me save before we take a look up here. All right, up we go. Come in the back. Another artillerist. Ha! Huh, and the main door is, clo is shut. You are at the back entrance to a ruined tower on Oachita Mountain. You can see the huge stones, fine dog and work, etched with graffiti left by many generations of travelers and soldiers. When you enter, there is silence for a moment. Then, loud roaring, the bestial challenges of cobors. The remaining raiders are fast running out of places to hide. Cobor elites. Oh boy, those are a little worrying. Oh, we can probably shoot that one from behind. I like that idea. <laughs> Alright, switch to bow.
Disrupted and temporarily charmed. I find that hilarious. Can't reach? Can you shoot it? You can. Go ahead, shoot this artillerist. Just shoot it dead. You're still stuck there. Still ensnared, which is quite annoying. Oh, hi, you're uh, no longer charmed. Well, now you're dead. Can you shoot it from here? Oh god, you can. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, I think we all need to be, like, right here. Which is fine. Honestly, I find this absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Killing them with absolutely no risk to us. Tiny bit of extra XP. And it regains a little bit of spell energy. Little bit. Okay. All right, now, looks like we've got something big to deal with here. The Clanless. One more save before we do this fight. Okay, then. Haven's Might. At last, you have cornered the leader of the rebels in his lair. He is a wizard of the Low Daga. In his right hand, you see a staff carved with runes of an all-too-familiar design. It controls the horde of enormous cobwebs protecting him. His other hand rests against a gigantic wolf to his side. It snarls at you. Quiet, Zeke. I must speak with our guests before you can eat them. He turns to look at you. He is trying to appear calm and unconcerned, the style of the rogue warrior when facing danger. Yet you can see the rage in his eyes. Welcome, Prince of Haven. I am honored that I am worth the trouble of his visit by royalty. Identify yourself, rogue. I am one who has given and will give all to drive Haven from our lands. I... <coughs> he chokes up. He looks away from you, trying to regain his composure. Who are you? I have given up my name and my clan. Until Haven is gone, I am a nothing. Call me clanless. I built up the fortress here to strike Haven, and I... I... You're all lost. Finally, his composure breaks. He points his staff at you and screams. You destroyed them all! My warriors, my friends, my land! We will make you pay, I swear it! He struggles to regain his composure. His control over his cob ores weakens. They begin to snarl and paw at the floor. Finally, he croaks, I will be heard. Are you the wolf? <coughs> he shakes his head. No, I am guided by the wolf, but I don't have the honor of that name. Get your pets under control. Clanless waves his staff. The cob ores quiet down. Don't worry, I control them totally, even if I have the occasional lapse. You may say your fate, your peace. He grips his staff so tightly that his knuckles turn white. He looks down at the floor. My friends, all gone. Only I can speak for them. Then he looks up at you. I am the one who raised this army of rebels. I am the one who created the control of staffs. I am the one who sent good warriors to die to try to kill Sutter and you. I did all this with a purpose. What was the purpose? You thought that killing the assassins I sent was a victory? It was not! Actually, it kind of was, but it doesn't seem like a good time for debate. It was a message to all of the Rokaj. It was a demonstration. What were you demonstrating? All empires, no matter how mighty, come to the Rokaj. They are all driven out eventually. They grow weak and fat and lazy and we pounce. 
We were demonstrating that you could be surprised, be fought. We were showing that a free rocage was worth dying for. Like my friends died today. Like I sent them to... To... He stops speaking and struggles to regain control. Did the wolf tell you to do this? The wolf gave me advice, suggested how I might craft the staves, sent me downward. All the work after that was mine. I don't know his true name, but I will honor him. And are you happy with how your plan turned out? I don't know. I think I won't live to see the end of it. I long to join those you have slain. My work is done. The real war will be rage waged by the whole rocage. I only wish... Perhaps I thought you wouldn't come here. You really didn't think I would find you. I thought Haven didn't really care about the row. I heard you were weak and lazy. Governor Otto is a slug. We thought you would give up. You would have made the next part of the wolf's plan so much easier. And yet, perhaps I don't have to die. I should be strong. Cut you down now. Then I can die when the next events come to pass. What are these events that you so cryptically refer to? You will see. I regret I won't be there to witness it. I should join my friends. You should know now that you can't kill me. You are protected by the magic of Haven, eh? Well, we are Rokaj. We will kill you once, then we will kill you again. Then we will keep killing you until you stop coming. If that is what it takes to finally understand the Rokaj, that is what we will do. In the name of Haven, I sentence you to death. Good, I am losing my resolve. I will not collapse in front of you. I would rather die. So, we will die. My brothers and sisters, we have done our part. I, who am clanless, join you at last. Boars, attack. We will focus on the clanless. <sighs> All right. Uh, how about a charm? 50% mental resistance. Try it. Resisted. Well, I tried. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There, that works. You, on the other hand... Yes, the disruptions! That I don't like. Heal yourself. No! Why couldn't you heal? Oh, your silence. That's actually bad. That is actually very bad. Try another charm, please, on this one. That works. All right, Mad Flurry. You still can't heal yourself, which is bad. Also, you're stuck. Again, bad. With all those over there, how about a fireball? Well, that killed the fleet brute. Alright, how about another Mad Flurry? The clan list has taken a lot of damage. I will say that. Okay, heal yourself. You need it. Thank you. Ha! The disruption is actually helping out immensely. How about some poison on everything? That'll be nice. And another fireball sounds good to me. The clanless collapses to the ground, mortally wounded. When he falls, the staff hits the stone floor and breaks. He smiles weakly. My magic is lost. Appropriate. He looks up at the ceiling. My warriors, I join you. I sent you to no fate I didn't accept myself. In the end, you achieved nothing. 
He smiles. You will see. Haven must still face us on... On... And then he dies. The power of the raiders has been broken. We still need to deal with all of these cobors, though. A lot of them are disrupted. Which means they're basically gonna be... Oh, that one's charmed. <laughs> Ow. I love the fact that they're just beating each other up now. It's very helpful. Uh, another fireball, please. <laughs> okay, that one's charmed. That one got charmed. Oh, damn it, that was... never mind. I didn't mean to hit a weight, but oh well. Ow. You are the last person I want to... I want him to be going to. Uh, how about that? Yeah, that works. Okay, that's no longer uh, going on. That one got charmed. You know what? Don't use any more abilities. We kind of need to regain our spell energy a bit here. Oh, hi! You came out of nowhere. <laughs> this is, for the most part, going well. Can you finish off that Zeke? Thank you. Finish off that one. We're gonna end this episode after this fight, I will say. That I don't like. Oh, thank you. Ow. Hey, that one got charmed. <laughs> oh, and that one's uh, now no longer... Okay, finish him off. Thank you. Now we gotta deal with these two. Excuse me. And now we gotta wait for this one to no longer be charmed. There we go. Ow. And we can finish him off here. And there we go. All right. And with that, mission complete. Task accomplished. And we have our pick of the loot. Coins, silver bars, Doggin Defender. Slow and incredibly hard to pull, but a mighty weapon. Oof, a lot of magical damage, but that is a heavy speed penalty.
God, no, I am never going to be using that. That is a sell. Charm of the Daga. Plus one to row wears down, and plus ten to stun resistance. Hmm. You know what? Sure. We can let you hold on to that. Sounds like a good idea. And here is where I am going to end this episode. Next episode, we gotta fire our way out of this place and report in and figure out what we're gonna do with the, about the governor. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Rupert, Elspeth, Terrence, and Patricia. This has been a Let's Play of Queen's Wish 2, The Tormenta. And I shall see you all next time.